friends, how's it going? Today I'm going to review the Jirachi and Darkrai 20th Anniversary Tomy figures. I love this series, so let's look at these packages first. So first off, we're gonna look at our Jirachi package here. So we've got that nice gold color here for the accents and then this awesome Jirachi picture right here. Then on the side, we've got some alternate language version of the flavor text, which is on the back here. And it talks about the trainer's journey on the top, which you can't see in the viewfinder right now. And then on the side here, this is what it says. We're talking about Jirachi in general, it says, according to the myth, if you write your wish on one of the notes attached to Jirachi's head and then sing sing to it in a pure voice, the Pokemon will awaken from its thousand years slumber and grant your wish, which is very different from the anime. But you know what? We won't talk about that right now. And then uh, you can kind of see we've got some embossed Pokeballs on the side here. So that's really, really cool. So let's look at the Darkrai ball next. So this sort of packaging, it's got the same stuff as on the actual Jirachi box, but uh, it's just the Pokeball. This is from GameStop. This was a GameStop exclusive thing. So their packaging is a little bit different. Uh, it kind of reminds me we have the Pokemon Rumble U NFC figure balls, so that's kind of fun. But we still have the gold-colored Pokemon right here, the Darkrai, and then we have the gold accents and the Pokeballs, but it's just not all fancy and shiny and embossed and stuff. In case you haven't opened one of these yourself before, this is how the packaging works. The plastic is one part and then the cardboard is the other part, so they just come apart together from the, uh, the edge here. So here we are, we have our Jirachi and our Premier Ball. So let's look at our Premier Ball first because it's the bigger of the two. So this Premier Ball is the same as all the other 20th anniversary ball products. It's a little bit shiny, you can't really tell because it's, it's not really focusing on it very well, but it's got little glitters, which is kind of cool. But yeah, it's definitely hard to tell. You can kind of see it on the red right there, but in any case, it's really cool. It's just a Pokeball though. It's got a clip on the side in case you want to put it on your belt. And then it opens up like this and the inside is white, so they definitely pay attention to some cool details on these, but it's just, you know, it's a plastic Pokeball. Then we've got our Jirachi figure, which is the main event of that package. This Jirachi is awesome. Um, it's got kind of wiggly plastic, so if you're going to play with it, it probably won't break off that easy because it wiggles instead of snaps, so that's good. The uh, little wish tags are the same way. And uh, other than that, it's just a Jirachi figure. This figure was originally produced uh, with the release of Ruby and Sapphire, so this is the same mold as the original Jirachi Tomy figure. It's just pearl pearlescent and really, really cool. I really enjoy it. It's got some neat... Uh, details and stuff with his third eye there. Uh, none of the paint seems to be going off into the other parts, so that's really nice to see. Now let's talk about our Dark Rai Tomy figure. So this actually opens with a little pole perforated thing right here. Um, I'm gonna try to do that on camera, but I probably won't succeed because this is kind of hard to open, so I just wanted to show you guys how to open it, and now I'm going to struggle with trying to actually do it. Alright, so here we are with the Pokeball unwrapped. It looks exactly the same as the other Premier Ball we got. It's got a little bit more scuffs on it because it was exposed more to uh, the GameStop store people, but it's still pretty cool. We got a little spot here too, but uh, regardless, it is a nice Pokeball, and it's good for cosplay and all that good stuff. Now let's open this, and then we have a little pamphlet that has the same sort of information that the Jirachi one had, but it's on a little piece of paper, so that's cool. So it says, Darkrai defends its territory by sending intruders into a deep sleep where they are tormented by terrible nightmares. And then we've got it in all the different languages that they chose to print, and then it says that it's from the Sinnoh region, and then on the back it's talking about the trainer's journey yet again. So it's always the same stuff in these 20th anniversary products, but uh, sometimes in a little different format. So the Darkrai itself comes in this little package here. It's kind of cute. It reminds me of the packages that were from the Pop-Tart boxes, if you ever had those uh, in the early 2000s. Those were really cool. You could get yeah, a Charmander figure, you could get a Chansey figure, uh, you could get a Polyrath. I don't remember if there was another one, but still cool things. So here's our Darkrai looking very, very awesome. I love the details on this figure. Now, I didn't talk about Jirachi so much because I already have a Jirachi Tomy figure, but I don't have a Darkrai one yet. So it's really neat to see all these details in front of me. This is so, so neat. So I spent some time trying to get a close up of his eye, but that didn't work so well. But you can see kind of in the camera that it's blue and then it actually does have that white dot in the center uh, to show its pupil, so that's pretty neat. And then of course the other side does not have an eye showing, but he does have two eyes. If you ever had a uh, dark ride plushie, I think you can lift up the uh, hair thing here and see the other eye. I can show some video of my Dark Rai Poke doll and see if that's true. Uh, but this is really neat. The the middle section of him is also wiggly, so it won't break too easily when you're playing super rough with it. 
uh, but it probably would break if you were pulling on it really hard, so just be careful. But it is a little bit wiggly to allow for some rough play. And then the bottom doesn't have any of its legs, so that's disappointing. Uh, if you've seen the Dark Rye movie, he does have two little stilts legs, which are very, very funny to me. And then the arms are made of that same wiggly plastic as well, so super nice figure. I really enjoy all the details on here, and of course I love the pearlescent fig finish. It's just awesome when they do this sort of thing. So I'm going to grab um, all of the figures and put them all together and show you guys kind of a lineup of all these Tomy figures for the 20th anniversary. So here they all are like one happy family. We've got February. Mew, we got March's Celebi, we got April's Jirachi, and then we have May's Dark Ride. So we don't have June's Manaphy yet, obviously. Uh, my Toys R Us didn't have it last time I checked, so I will be checking again soon, of course, because I always try to collect all of these guys because they're really neat and it'll be awesome to see them all together. But I did want to show you just the four that were released so far. They're all really great figures, and um, they all have really great details, and they're awesomely made, and so they're just awesome Tomy products, and I hope you guys can find them if you're looking for them. Also, I'm sorry for this video being late. This was supposed to be uploaded on Friday but it was uploaded today Saturday instead because my week this week was just very strange but we persevere that's what we do here so thanks for watching everybody and I'll catch you all on the flip side